You guys hear a phone ringing somewhere? I got some balloons if you need some. Uh. Um, we are talking about the black phone. Spoilers! Full spoilers for the black phone. Uh, Blumhouse, Scott Derrickson's new film. Uh, best film? Um, so, yeah. So let's get full right into it. If you have not seen the black phone... Do not watch this unless you want to get spoiled. Uh, skip ahead, uh, pause it, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. Live people, just, just plug your ears for 30 minutes. Live people come back, I won't care. Unless you have seen the movie then, or you don't care about spoilers. We don't judge. It's true. So, what did we think about the black phone? Ben, I want to hear your thoughts, Amish, for first. I want to hear your thoughts. So, I, it's pretty dang good. Pretty darn good. I really, I really enjoy it. I enjoyed it. It was a good thriller. Um, there were some horror elements there that I kind of wish they I, part of, I don't know. I want to know a little bit more about the black phone, but at the same time, I kind of like the mystery of it all. Like all these kids haunting that room that, that they're in. Yeah. Nah, keep, keep it mystery. Keep it a mystery. No, we can't. No, no, that's, that's, what yeah. I was, that's what I'm saying. I like yeah. the mystery of it all. Yeah. I like that. I don't um, want any I, explanation. I kind of want a little bit more of the grabber. Like, why is he doing this all? why what's his motivation for doing this but then at the end of the day it's like it's just a it's just, he's just a, a bad person who kills children there's nothing more than that but also I, I part of me just wants to know like why the mat why the whole mask thing and all that stuff but all in all ethan hawk amazing performance kids were pretty good and this was a really good this was a this was a pretty good thriller i, I had fun i had a good time with this one the mask is so that he can live with himself it's in the movie. It's subtextually in the movie, oh, okay. but it's he, he rips his mask off and he can he can't handle it that he's that he's exposed. Yeah, uh, Ryan, what you think of this? I think it's fantastic. I really had a great time. Um, I am a huge fan of the Exorcism of Emily Rose, which is a Scott Derrickson movie. So I don't know if this is for me my his best movie. Uh, it is an exceptional movie, though. I think all the elements work. I love. I love the way it's told where you're getting more information about all the different kids and how that's going to help this kid escape. I think that's all presented incredibly well. I don't think you need any additional information. This is very, but it's by Joe Hill, who is Stephen King's son. Ben, you should know that you're his best friend. Uh, it feels and very much, hell? it feels very much like a Stephen King property. We're like, this is, this could be like, like, like another version of the shining with these kids having powers within it not being explained. Like, I don't need everything to be explained for me. Uh, I, I love the mystery. I think the acting is great. I think the, the, the two kids are exceptional in, in, a, in a world where I don't really like kid actors. Um, they are, they are exceptional. Ethan Hawke is horrifying. I had a, I had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. I agree wholeheartedly with Ryan. I adore this movie. I think the movie is great. I have been thinking about it nonstop since I saw it. Uh, the theater I was in was ecstatic with so much energy. The ending had people cheering in, mm -hmm. the, in my theater. Mm -hmm. like, it, it is a, it is an ex, it is an exceptional movie. Um, I also think I think this is more connected to Stephen King um, than anything else Joe Hill has probably written because mm -hmm. I do think that young girl has the shine. It very much feels like it. Yeah. And like, um, yeah, I, I think that's kind of what he was going for. This kind of like, because the shining isn't the, 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 the shine isn't, isn't necessarily like a, a wholly explained thing. It's this kind of thing that Stephen King uses to give people powers. Yeah. It's, it's um, like, it's like the mutant gene basically. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that, I think that's what the little girl has specifically. Absolutely. Um, and perhaps even Ethan Hawke has it. And that's why you can hear the phone uh, Yeah, because he's the only one other person who can hear the phone. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, definitely. I was intrigued because he's like, he says the phone doesn't work, but then one of the, the, the dead kids certainly says he he hears the phone, but he ignores it or something. And mm -hmm. that's that's a very interesting backstory for that character. Like because you he, get you get you get a sense that like his his dad was abusive, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of what was probably why he did like he could hear that phone at one time because he says like he used to be in this room before and like the phone hasn't worked since I was down here. Um, and so like he can hear it, but he ignores it because maybe his dad was like, you know, there's that's not working, like would beat him about it. Yeah. And there's, yeah, there's lots of like a parallels of like what, what is happening to uh, Finney, our main character. He's got an abusive dad, um, not to excuse the dad at all. He's a shitty dad, but that dad, you know, he's going through a lot of shit. He had a wife who slowly lost her mind, probably with similar shining powers. Um, and he couldn't handle it. And, and she killed herself. Uh, and like, uh, it's rough and like being an adult's rough. And like, I, I, I have sympathy for the dad while also realizing he's a bad person. Like it's a complex. That's what I love about this movie. Like all the characters are real and complex. Like all the characters have good and bad qualities to them. Um, 
which is so interesting. Uh, maybe except the kids. The kids are perfect. They're lovely. Um, but like, yeah, Ethan Hawke is so spooky. He's not in the movie as much as I thought he was, but that's not a bad thing. Like he, he, you always feel his presence, even when he's yeah. not in the room. You always feel when, when we're, when we're with Finn, Finny in the, in the basement that Ethan Hawke can show up at any moment. Like, I just imagine, like, he's just, like, literally waiting at the door sometimes, like... Yeah, because there's a lot of, like... What, because whenever Finney is, like, doing things, like, with the rug and he's trying to get the the thing, the grate down, like, you you know, like, you're already tense. And even if the music isn't trying to be tense for you, trying to create that sense of tension, the movie had already done that sense of tension because it cre- it has this moment where Ethan Hawke is just watching Finney sleep. And so, like, you have this, you have this thing where it's like, oh, he could just... And because it's soundproof, like he could just walk in at any time and Finney will not hear him. He'll just show up whenever. Oh, the belt. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Just with his, his like, he's just like shirtless. Just like, come on, let me hit you. Come on, boy. Yeah. I, 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 I think that the kids are fantastic, especially that little girl. That little girl is excellent. She the first so time funny. she starts cursing threw me off. Oh yeah. my God. It is so funny. Uh, like what the shit, Jesus? Come on. <laughs> what the hell, Jesus? Her relationship with God is so funny in this movie. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Because he thinks that the that the dreams that she's having are from Jesus and so she's mm-hmm. praying to Jesus. And she's like, she wakes up, what the shit, Jesus? We, we well, she says she says the F word, but yeah. Uh I, I love uh she has like a little ritual where she has like she has her Bible, she has a rosary, she has the thing, she has a picture of the Holy Mary, and then she runs to bed because Daddy's about to come get her. She has to run back and quickly go, "Oh man!" because she didn't finish it. Yeah. Uh, just like great little character details, like uh, um, she, yeah, she is so charming. And this 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 movie has like has levity in it with like Max, the brother, the coquetted brother, was really funny. Uh, mm-hmm. There's moments of like of like real levity, but also like intense drama that aren't spooky like uh the scene where where the dad's hitting her with the belt like that little girl is acting her ass off Mm -hmm. like crying and screaming my dreams are dreams like that felt so real it was too it was too real yeah it was so good the um the scene with uh uh as mag says in the chat in the chat i'll actually go there mag is in the chat he says uh best way to look at flashbacks of the victims in a grainy film oh yeah yes what I think this movie does very well is it is it um, introduces us to two of the grabber's victims before the grabber gets them, um, the the baseball player and the um, the Robin, boyfriend. Robin. I saw this a boyfriend, but I was like, oh, there's something there. No, the, there's, the subtext is absolutely there. It's there. Um, but I so like I was so like we're introduced to both of them um, as really nice people a really nice character they're not they're not bad to Finn. They, they're they're some of Finn's best best friends even when the baseball player is seen as antagonistic because he's on the other team but like at the end it's like hey man your arm's great your arm is mint is what he says great great yeah. like reverse of what you think is going to happen oh great. yeah i thought yeah. he was i thought um he was gonna be, like be a he was gonna be an asshole to him he was like haha i hit a home run off you but he's like dude but when he goes up to him he's like dude you almost got me that was and awesome. even like and even like robin is introduced beating up someone mm-hmm. and then you see that that finney is, is is um tutoring him is like is like is tutoring him because like you see that finney is bullied but not by this kid um who's who's stronger than every bully there mm-hmm. yeah, robin I, robin is like yeah he like defends him yeah yeah, I think that's really great reversal of everything. And then the other kids, we learn through these this kind of kind of grainy flashback who they are. Um, and I thought that was a really good storytelling device. Oh yeah, yeah. All the when you all... see the. Oh, I'm sorry. What I was gonna say is like when you see the paper boy, when he's going through and he's trying to, and he's doing his route, and you see the grabber and the par essentially re- like with the dog with the bicycle almost broke me because the, the poor dog is just barking, and then you see the van go off, or um, I even like the the scene with Vance too, the 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 other super tough kid. I don't, oh yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't call him the bully, but he's just like kind of a jerk. He's just an asshole. Well, he's an asshole. Yeah. He's the only yeah. one that the grabber took that wasn't what I would classify as like a nice kid. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because he straight up like beats the crap out of someone who knocked his pinball, who messed up his pinball game. Real quick, uh, a kid immediately just pulls a knife out. Yeah, what the and shit? I'm like, man, the seventies were wild. <laughs> there, there's a there's a lot of really there's a lot of really good way they visualize the kids when Finney is talking to them through the phone. Um, for example, the um, the uh, uh, 
the, the we never see them in uh, like the, we we often don't see their face. It's always obscured in darkness or in or in or they're blurry, except for the one who's like floating upside down. Yeah. Um, yeah, we yeah. see that one pretty clearly. That was terrifying. Um, and the way that when he's talking to them, you see them talking, but you hear it through the phone. That's awesome. Yeah, I think that's I think that's excellent filmmaking. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. The and like the the memory loss of like they don't know exactly where they are. They're the not first exactly... thing you the first thing you lose is your name. Yeah. Um. They don't know who they are. They don't exactly know where they are. Uh. Where they are, but like they know they're dead, and they know what happened to them. Um, and again, like, I don't need, I don't need an explanation of why it's happening, but like, for some reason they are, they are, they are there to help Finn to, to escape from this. Um, mm -hmm. and like, and again, it's, it is, I might check out the short story now because one, it's a short story and I can read that real quickly. Um, but I don't, I don't expect it to give me any more context, but I just, I find it such a fascinating, uh, uh, like a plot idea, uh, just like the, like it, it took this many kids dying to get to get to the point where like they it was enough kids to help the one survive like yeah. if robin didn't get captured he wouldn't have been able to help him with like the phone thing or advancing a capture he could have uh, done things like with the rugs or like certain characters doing different things uh it all it all builds into a a really awesome finale yeah what, what i thought was really cool about that is that you you see how each one is like i tried to do this to escape so you can try to do this to escape and so it's 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 seen as he's trying to He's so he's trying to use their methods to escape, and then it's and then the the the, the reveal is that he's used all other methods to make his own method of escape, and it all it all combines into something mm -hmm. else. Yeah, yeah, which which is which is one of the since we're there, it's one of the the most triumphant moments in a horror movie I've ever seen when he gets the upper hand on the grabber. Oh, yeah, he 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 when does he the, breaks his neck. Yeah, oh. he does the uh, he does like the 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 line trick to get him the trip, and he's got yeah. the hole dug. He falls right in. Oh yeah, breaks his ankle because he had to put the crate in or the 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 grate in there, whatever it's mm -hmm. called. Yeah, to break and, his ankle so he can't move. And like the the phone starts ringing and it's off the hook. Mm -hmm. Like the like the receiver's not on the phone anymore, and the grabber can hear it. And it's like it's for you. Oh, oh yeah, Finn's arm is mint. Doosh. Hell Great. yeah, dude. That was yeah. that was people. Really good... People were legitimately cheering in my audience. Yeah, I, we, had, we had a few people cheering in mine too. That, that was a really good way to finish him off. I saw this movie at ten o'clock in the morning, <laughs> so <laughs> there were three people in the theater, and they were as tired as I was. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I can understand <laughs> that. Um, we saw it. We saw this investors screening at AMC. I talked. I told you guys about it when I saw it last week. But my 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 audience with all people who were just like super jazzed to see this movie yeah i'm uh i'm glad it's really cool because scott derrickson who last directed dr strange um and then didn't direct dr strange 2 decided to go back to making a low budget movie and his and it's already made like 25 million dollars over the weekend which is a lot for a low budget horror movie mm -hmm. so like it's, it's already successful and it's critically loved so i'm like yeah it's a win it's a win yeah i'm really happy I would have loved to have seen what he did with the Multiverse of Madness because it was also a different script that he was working with yeah. um, than Sam Raimi did. But like, I'm glad he did this. I'm so glad yeah. he did this. I, we were able to get a, a new Sam Raimi Marvel movie and it felt like a Marvel movie and a Sam Raimi movie. And we got a new Scott Derrickson, like back to his roots horror movie. Uh, yeah. So like, I think everybody everybody won this year. I think I think so. Um, let's see. Ethan Hawke. We've talked a little bit about him. He's, he's incredible. Yeah. And this. Some of the best mask acting I've ever seen. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I love. Um, he would change out uh, the bottom half depending on like how mad or happy he was. Mm -hmm. uh, re really cool indication of just like what mood he's in. You can immediately tell what mood he's in by what he's look what he looks like. Yeah, um, which just is just a threatening a threatening thing altogether already. And like you can see, like he takes up the, he like like it's in pieces. Mm -hmm. Which are the, really unique looking masks, just in general. Yeah. Um, and the fact that they were in pieces that you could just interchange the pieces was really excellent. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the reveal that the his coked out brother was actually on top of Finny the whole time. What a great, incredible reveal! And you know, there were only three people in my audience, but when it did the the zoom down into the basement, everyone went oh. <laughs> little uh, <laughs> little us uh, like that's a great that's like it reminded me of the malignant reveal where the like, lady crashes through the house oh yeah um and i was like oh it's such a good such a good reveal that was a really great reveal actually yeah 
Yeah, Max is such a fun character like that dude. <laughs> He's got the Pepe, the Pepe Silva book coat board. I'm like, I'm gonna figure this thing out. And then he looks and it's like, oh, it's my street. Wait, it's my it's, oh, it, is it, it mine? Oh. Yeah, the the um he was a really funny character when he goes when he goes down there and he's just like okay okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna okay and he's like super high and he's oh, not yeah. equipped to experience to, to deal with this thing i can't and even imagine like being coked out of your mind like, he's all like hey you want to know how i found you it's like get him out get I mean. the kid out of there and just the the <laughs> when when ethan hawk kills him is it also a good a good twist mm -hmm. um why am i getting a phone call Ring, ring, ring. You guys keep talking. I gotta answer this. Yeah, yeah, okay. uh, yeah. The the I I, I kind of figured Max was gonna die. Uh, uh, it just yeah, felt yeah. It, it felt appropriate for the movie, but like it was still like shocking. And even though uh, Ethan Hawke was like, uh, or the grabber was like, you made me kill my own brother. Like I don't I don't think he really felt that bad about it. That was just like no. he had to say that to be the do the emotion of it. Oh no! Like the second because what what I really like about how Ethan Hawke just changes because when you first see him before. Um, Finney first breaks out he's like hmm, maybe I will let you go maybe this because nothing's happening because by that point well, people try to escape and that's when um, the paper of uh, when um, the paper boy kid says that's when you you have him play naughty boy yeah yeah naughty yeah. boy is when he's he starts to kill people mm -hmm. and then of course when he gets out and he like has the next episode and then he says the words naughty boy that's like okay now we're in now we're into it now it's like here's the you're down the, you're going down the path so do you, do you do you actually think he would have let him go? No. I do. I'm I'm I I I don't know honestly. I don't know the answer. I don't I I think he could go either way. I really don't have a I fix. I think I think he would because he's because at this point there's a lot more cop presence. He, it's mm -hmm. a lot sloppier than it was last time. Yeah. Um and he's not he he's a horrible person. But in his mind what in his mind, what has been done is justified because he hasn't been caught. Mm -hmm. And now he's looking at, this is how, how I kind of rationalized. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like now he's looking at it, like there's a real possibility I can get caught. Maybe I should just let the kid go. Like, is yeah. this worth it? Is this really worth it? Yeah. It's the, it's the end of the line. Yeah. Yeah. And so like, I, I, th I think that there is a real possibility that he would let him go. It definitely, it, it definitely feels real in the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love that. Um, Again, like every kid's failure led to his success. Where like if he didn't open that meat locker, even though he couldn't escape, he wouldn't have been able to throw that piece of meat to to the dog. Yeah. He probably would have ripped him to shreds. Um, yeah. Just good, such good little moments. Um, I, I like the detectives uh, talking to the little girl. Again, I think that little girl is just so fun. Oh, um, the dad, the the, the drunken dad, Balder from Game uh, from uh, God of War. He played Balder. He also oh, played. Yeah. yeah, he's also Charles Manson in uh, 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 Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, terrific, yeah, terrific actor. He's also in um, the CW Lost. as as a villain. He's also on Lost. Yeah, yeah. He played Psycho Pirate, I believe, in in, in the CW shows um, or somebody. Oh, man, remember uh, when Psycho Pirate was supposed to be important? Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> uh, let's tangent there. No, um, yeah, I I like this movie that it's like it's it's tight. It's like it's like an hour forty five, right? Like it, it, there's not a lot of fluff. Everything makes sense. I love the girl's dreams that it's not, um, it, it's not like an exact thing. It's like it's like just like it's like a vision, and she doesn't know. And she's like every day she goes bike riding to find the house, and mm -hmm. it ends up not being the right house anyway. But like it is the right house. Uh, all that stuff oh, I think is the really reveal. Well. The reveal that it wasn't the house, I almost crushed me. I was like, oh my I, God, wasn't the wrong house? I, I at the end was convinced it was going to be a twist that he was he actually was dead the whole time or something when yeah. with that reveal with with the kids being when they found the basement full of uh the kids i for sure thought oh this is not he is dead yeah this is too late we're watching a flashback or something but it wasn't it was just a, a connected house and i'm like oh thank god yeah i yeah. think i think this film has a has a really great triumphant ending you put this kid through hell and like mm -hmm. that's the thing but it, it it kind of it kind of twists the knife a little bit with the reveal that it, there's a second house um and it, it and it kind of goes goes it kind of recontextualizes what the ghosts were trying to do to the girl mm -hmm. when when he when because they're like yeah we don't want you to find the kid we don't want you to find Finny he's got this he's gonna yeah. get out we want you to find us yeah give, give let us leave let us have salvation yeah yeah, yeah and I think that that was a great way to do that mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah I, I I think this movie honestly like I think this movie rules and you're right Ryan it, it is it is it is tight. There's no fluff. It is, mm -hmm. it is beat, beat, beat. And it, and it, it takes a while to ramp up to the scary, but I think every, 
horror beat works. Like when the when the when the bully gets like yanked through like, oh, yeah. to the to the dark into the darkness. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That, that, um, that, that got me. Yeah, I I it's certainly I wouldn't say like the like it's more atmosphere than I think it is like jump scare scary. Mm-hmm. But like but like I prefer that more than anything. Like the, feel, the sense of dread of like I don't know what's gonna happen. Is, is always is always more frightening yeah. than just like a, were, a bird jumping out at me. There yeah. were definitely times when like when Finny was was crawl was climbing up to get to the gate to open up the window. There were many times where he was doing stuff like he was like trying to dig through the wall to get to the freezer to get to the freezer. I was watching this like really intense, thinking like, is the grabber gonna come in? He can come in at any moment and Finn would be caught and then he'd probably die. So when when he escapes. I was like, oh, is this movie going to go in a different direction than I thought it was? And then he gets them, and he's like, if you move, I'll cut you like a pig. And then mm-hmm. the lights come on, and no one comes outside. I'm like, we were so close. We were yeah. so close. Oh, my God. And it, and Naughty it, boy. It really it really helps. Like, everything in this movie, like, really – like, the audience is in this journey with Finn. Mm-hmm. Like, he he is – like, we are we are with this kid the whole step of the way. When those lights turn off – we're heartbroken because we want this kid to live. We want this kid to survive. Oh yeah. And I think that's what that, I think that's what really works for me in this movie is that, you know, a lot of the time horror movies, it's really easy for horror movies to get really nihilistic and, and kill them. And, and we ended up in a bad place. Look at Halloween yep. kills. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so we ended in a bad place. And so like what I think was very successful about this one and I think it's also the James Wan style of horror because, you know, he, James Wan also um, produced Sinister, which was a Scott Derrickson film, um, where, where it's a James Wan style of horror that, the bad, that the, the bad guy needs to lose, the good guy needs to win. Mm-hmm. Like, you need to give that audience the catharsis. The, 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 you need to give the audience the victory the, yeah, yeah. because that's what, made, that's what makes a lot of those older horror movies work so well. Absolutely. That's what, make, that's what makes, like, The Conjuring work so well because good triumphs over evil. Yeah. Um, and so... I, I think that was really smart of them to create this character that the audience could really relate to, really just really like. There's not a there. There is purposefully not a bad thing about this kid. He is bullied. We already feel bad for him because he's bullied. He's uh, he takes care of his dad, even though his dad is a is a is a monster. He takes mm. care of his sister. Like there's nothing about this kid that is unsympathetic to the audience and to see him have that victory go through hell, go through his trials and come out having beaten the monster is very important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and again, like, like him having this ability to hear, hear the dead. Uh, I don't need any more explanation of just like he can. Yeah. Cause it's, it's not important. It is. It just has like, it just adds another, like, Oh, let's just lore dump of why you have superpowers. Like that's not what's important about the story whatsoever. It's just about the kids, the kids, sad journey to survive yeah uh mm-hmm. and yeah it is it is such an exceptional ending um uh yeah breaking that dude's neck i love it it's so you are it's so cathartic it felt uh, it was definitely like a cheer moment yeah when 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 the baseball player says fin, fin finney's arm is mint snap yeah. oh hell yeah you, you're you're cheering in the audience there's no oh, way yeah. you're not uh some of the oh. best um it, ha- it was actually in in Halloween Kills, like like not the best movie, but like the the visualization of like it looks like a 1970s movie and like the flashback stuff, but like yeah. the grainy camera. Yeah, like it is like it feels like they just use like a camera from the 1970s. Like it just looks it looks impeccable. I love it. it looks great. And I, um, love, uh, I do like how the sorry, Ben, real quickly. Um, just on that, I really like how the flashbacks meld between uh, the sister and Finney. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes Finney is seeing is seeing the, like, the baseball player, but also maybe the sister is seeing that too. And like, it's the, it's the reveal of the bully, not the, not the, but the long haired kid. Yeah. Um, he, when he is having his flashback told, we see the, we see the sister in that flashback. She is, she's with him. She's experiencing that flashback with him. So you get the sense that maybe they're both seeing these things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's super cool. And it's like, you know, it's not a movie that needs a sequel or anything. It just stands on its own. It's, it's like really, uh, it's just like a really, uh, expertly crafted little horror movie. Yeah. Go ahead. Also, I love how um, Susie is, or not Susie, excuse me, Gwen. Gwen's not afraid to throw down. Oh, is like that when, the girl's name? I couldn't remember. I yeah. couldn't remember it either, yeah. Yeah, it's Gwen. When Gwen is rushing to help her brother after the three bullies are ha- are attacking him after Robin gets kidnapped. With yeah. the rock? That, that girl yeah. was ready to go. Oh my God, <laughs> so cool. Yeah. I was like, she just takes the rock and w- rings that kid's bell and he's down, he's bleeding, he's shocked and it's like, and then she sits down because she's beaten up too and she looks at him and is like, 
Yo, she gets straight clocked in the face, dude. Yeah, she does. And then I, it's really cool because like, uh, it's like a, it's like a street ball, right? And then one of the bad guys sits down, and then she sits down, and they're just sitting next to each other, like, well, we're both we're both out of this fight. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's like a nice little head is just pissing blood, and she's just like, because he knows he's like, they got hit in the head with a rock. Who did? Well, they deserve it. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, it's it's a very good moment. I also really I also really like how um, they do the balloons. Um, like I think that's a cool idea that the black balloons are actually how he gets the kids. He gets the kids. Like mm-hmm. he doesn't he doesn't lure them in with balloons. He lures them in and then uses the balloons to cover what he's doing, which is You're I guess right. spraying them with helium to uh, knock out. Or, I'm not. I don't know what it is. It looks like it might be a form of chlor an early form of chloroform. I don't know. Something uh, sleep. Chloroform. Some sort of there's no helium. early form of chloroform. We've had chloroform for over a hundred oh, yeah. years. I don't think it's helium because then he would just be like. Ah! Uh, it's definitely some type of. Bad gas. It's a bad gas. Yeah, it's a bad exactly. gas. A bad, bad gas. Bad yeah, gas. It, definitely some kind of sedative. But yeah, that's actually like when Finn goes, "Are those black blood balloons?" Yep. It's like, oh, you're run, run yeah, very because, far away. Because he has this moment where he has this moment where he he knows that uh, because his sister has told him. Yep. Um, and so he knows what's about to happen. Uh, I, I, guys, I adore this movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, the, I love how he uses his spaceship flashlight to just cut his arm. Yeah. The That's fact that he didn't take away that spaceship, though. Interesting. Why didn't you just take away the weapon? I'm just saying, take the, take the weapon from the kid. <laughs> he's not the smartest guy in the world. No, he's called... No, he's, he's, no you're right. Oh, the yeah. grabber! Also, once again, for Ethan Hawke, because when we first meet him, when he kidnaps Finney, he has his... Uh, he doesn't have his mask on, but he painted his face white. He so, probably is an amateur magician. That is his job when he's not murdering children. Yeah, he has a job. Like, yeah. he, he has this thing... I really like how we see, oh, I really like how we see all the kids get caught, captured, including in the flashbacks, because we never see them get captured. We always see the black van Ooh. and then it, and then it pan, and then and then it fades out. Yeah. I think that's very effective. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Love it. Lo- yeah. Love it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I have much more to add other than how much I like this movie. No. Uh, no. This uh, yeah. Solid. Ethan Hawke. Uh, very effective. Um, it's it's amazing how much you can do with just like a voice and like you know just like the way you present yourself. Uh, mm-hmm. and like the way he just tilts his head and it's like very 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 good shit. Why don't we rate it then? I, Ryan Oliopoulos, will give this a nine out of ten. I think this is a very very good movie. If you like horror movies, uh, and you listen to this review, uh, it's still worth checking out. Like the, the triumphs are way way better seen on screen than described. Ben. Yeah, I give it a nine as well. Really solid film. Keeps you on the edge. You see, I wasn't. I didn't never felt bored an entire time. I was always curious as to what was happening. Even when we switch go from Finney to Gwen and back again, I was always curious and I was always engaged of what the characters were doing. So, yeah, and also the scene, like the scene with Robin telling him how to throw a hit. I love that scene. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. like like step back, jump, step back, hit. Loved it. Yeah. 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 Really good I, scene. Uh, uh, definitely boyfriends. Um <laughs> no for sure no like the 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 like the subtext is there um from from the beginning um yeah. the bullies call him call him a homophobic slur uh yeah. robin comes in like they have like they have clear chemistry um and then when when finn talks to him on the phone he's like robin i'm going to meet you, i'll be with you soon like he know yeah. he he's about to die and i'm like man that's that's so tragic like no there's definitely some some early romance happening they, they i don't think they even realize you know, yeah, yeah, I I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. I was I was going into this I was going into this review as a as a nine. I was like, you know, this is a solid nine. But you know what? I'm gonna go nine point five. Hell yeah! All right. I, I like this movie a whole lot. Honestly, it might be one of my favorites of the year. That's it's, good. Man, this top ten list is getting crazy. It really is. It's what gonna a be good, a hard. What a good year. What a good year. Love it. Love All right. It, shall it. we? Shall we book club? And book begin. Club it Good, good, effective horror trailer. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys. Oops.
I'm yeah, show you guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't like that. I don't I went in that room once and I will never go again. <laughs> okay, so there's a there was one that looks like the eyes are just black and sunken in. Yeah. That's you know normal. which one I'm talking about? The white That's one? Normal. These used to be in my bedroom. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. 